when I thought of Shanghai and when I thought of the small town <clears throat> and one small town journalist come shady guy who's trying to make it and break that barrier and go up top. And when I thought of all the people that I could work with and then I remembered Imran Hashmi's performances in performance in Footpath and how uh, uh, in every film after that, whatever I've seen has been totally relatable. And also how the urban posh class loves to look down at him. I found some real perverse joy in going to him and asking to do this role. We completely tanned him, gave him dark circles, we pierced his ears, we gave him a new hairstyle and at the same time he was gaining weight and then we started messing up his teeth because he's the kind of guy who's chewed tobacco for the last 10 years. So all of that took about uh, a good three months. Yeah. I know that when he read the script, when he heard the narration, he knew that in this film, he would like to cock a snook at all those people who would like to put him down as just a serial kisser. Well, I was very uh, happy when Dibakar said that uh, he wanted a punch in the film because, I, like I said, I've always wanted to play a character which is completely, I mean, as far as the physicality, uh, physicality goes also is completely not like me, you know, to tan down, tan the makeup, uh, you know, have pan in the film, have a paunch. So being something that I, I, I've, I've never been or I don't understand, um, Debakar put this idea forth that, you know, he wanted this look and I just went ahead and we kind of did one look test. We, we kind of perfected that look uh, in the second and third and then we got it right. When Jogi Parmar smiles, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's, it's a crack moment. I needed a, 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 an actor who could act as a tamram, who would put on a, a persona of a very conservative, pedantic, uh, almost boring, cold kind of a guy. Uh, somebody who is closer to 40 than he is closer to 30. This is not Abhay at all. Because Abhay is young, Abhay is definitely not a Tambram. He is a Punjabi from Bombay, from a film family. Abhay is definitely not cold. Abhay is definitely not uh, bureaucratic. Abhay is a rebel, therefore he is definitely not a conformist. Therefore Abhay was the most unsuitable guy to act out the part. And uh, again, I found that a tremendously attractive reason to cast him. Well, for this film, uh, Shanghai, I'm playing a South Indian, so I did have to work on um, sounding like I am from the South. We didn't want to stereotype him into sounding like a Tamilian like people usually do in cinema or in theater. As soon as I dressed a certain way, I felt like I was already that character. And also he's an older, mature bureaucrat who has learned to keep his uh, emotions under the surface. He never lets you see what he's thinking actually about you. And it's just those eyes, they're just looking at you all the time. This is about the dream called Shanghai and the truth called India. Let's <laughs> go.